You're watching Hexus TV and we're out here at CBIT 2010 in Hanover. We're over on the Synology booth and with me is Mike Chen. Um, Mike's going to run us through um, sort of like a, a quick rundown of the product range, aren't you? Yes. Uh, for, for what we've got. So say I'm just a, a bog standard home user, I need a bit of expansion storage, um, what should I go for? Uh, the little ones here, you know, they are very good, powerful in performance, uh -huh. uh, very friendly in the prices as well. Okay, and, and obviously the advantage over these from just using a, a USB or eSATA extension drive is I can access it anywhere on my network once exactly. I put it on there, can't Pretty I? much, yes. Any data. Okay, so you've got, uh, so that's a single drive one. Exactly. Is this uh, a double drive one, that, that, exactly, that yes. one? Right. So was it, is that a triple or is that a double or is that um, a 2.5 inch or something like that? Uh, it's wider, but it looks just the same sort of size-ish. This one you can uh, support hot swapping techniques. Oh, okay. All right, so, so, so you, can, you can hop swap through through this one. So that's the DS710 Plus. Right, and now if you need extra, uh, additional storage space, you can also connect it through eSATA to an expansion unit. Okay, all right, so you could stick one of those on it or something like that. Uh, one of these ones here, actually. Oh, the one of these ones. ones over here. Ah, one of the big ones. Right, yeah. No, I get it wrong. We're not firing. Okay, so the DS410, who's, who's that aimed at? Uh, it's uh, for home use or Soho, it's no problem. Yeah, for, so small office, home office. And what's the difference between the 410 and the 410 Plus? CPU. Apart from it's got gold buttons. <laughs> Speed, RAM, all that kinds of stuff. Okay, so what's powering these at the minute then? Pardon? What, what is powering these at the minute? What's the CPU in this one? Uh, that one is 1 1.2 gigahertz and uh, it's a s slower processor than the Intel ones here, but you know it's very powerful and uh, capable of running all, all sorts of tasks. Okay, so is, is, this, is this the new Intel one which everybody's using now, the Atom Dual exactly, Core 1.66? There you go. Yeah, that's, that's the one, isn't it? Okay, so now we're coming up to something which is a bit more meaty. This is looking a bit more pro. Exactly. So this is the so that's the 510 on the bottom, is it, and the 1010 on the top? This one's the DS1010 Plus, right? Okay. So uh, capable of exp expanding its uh, storage capacity with the expansion unit here okay to a total of 10 base solutions right okay and, and what, how, how do you go between the, oh is that is that where you have the eSATA connection between the two is it yes it's in the back actually okay right. and this is this is the atom uh, whatever they call it the d510 it. is it dx510 dx510 yeah okay right. and now finally we come up to something which I'm probably never going to be using <laughs> uh, so this is, this is the rack mount stuff yes. um, so this is this literally just that kind of thing fitted into a rack mount form factor yes exactly You're okay right. Right, now we were talking about RAM and everything earlier on. Um, now you mentioned to me that you can upgrade the memory in these, is that correct? Absolutely, let's have a look. Okay, uh, let's, let's go around and have a look. So this is a new design, it's very uh, it's for repair services basically. Okay. So um, something goes wrong, you can just unplug the PCB from the back of the chassis. That's the entire uh, control board for the whole thing, yeah? Exactly, yes. Yep. And uh, the rim uh, memory upgrade is on the back side here. Oh, so there we go, it's, it takes no bit memory. Right, so from one gigabit, you can up to upgrade to a three gigabits in total. Okay, uh, three three gigs supported in total. Yes. Okay, and is this the only uh, model that you can do the upgrade on? The racks are serious, yes. The racks serious. Um, so none of, none of these are upgradable at all. Unfortunately, no. unfortunately not. Never mind. Okay, so, so there we go. So that, that's, that's the range there from um, Syn Synology. Uh, everything from just your normal home user uh, right up to someone business like who wants to spend. How much is one of those? Uh, this is very new, so available in June, so the price yeah. is not set yet. The price is not set Once yet. I have the information, you'll be the first okay. to know, Nick. And how much is one of those? It's new too, so... Uh, what about that one? 200 to 300 euros. 200 to 300 euros, so I bet this is going to be a lot more. Well, we'll see. We'll see, okay. He's going to do me a deal. That's fantastic. Check out soon on Hexus TV for more from Synology. And Stefan, stick this in your bag. Just, just pop it in your bag. Pop it in your bag.